All right, we are going to start the uh, monthly town board meeting. It is going to be held at the Forceville Town Hall. It is 6.32 p.m. on October 16th, 2023. Um, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, verification of public notice. You want roll call? Yes, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Gillett. Here. Larry Huber. Here. Jason Kahaj. Here. Dina Schmidt. Here. I'm Ruth Kersher. Monica Nelson. Here. Chris Sample. Here. And Lauren Eaker. Here. All right, thank you. <laughs> now we can do verification okay, of public yeah, notice. Just... The notice has been posted on the town website and also on the town hall bulletin board. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Agenda presentation. Is there anything we have to change? I don't see anything. I didn't see anything either. Make a motion we accept the agenda as published or presented. I second. All right, I have a motion to accept. The agenda is written. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Hearing none, it'll pass. Approval of meeting minutes from September 18th, 2023 monthly meeting. You sent those out loose and they look good to me. I didn't notice any changes or errors. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Yep, me either. I thought they were good. Okay. I make a motion to adopt the minutes. I'll second that. All right, I have a motion to accept the September 18th uh, monthly meeting minutes as written. All approved, all in favor? All right. All not. Hearing none, that will carry. Treasurer's financial report. Okay. In the cemetery checking, we have $72.07. In the cemetery perpetual care, we have $11,651.61. Cemetery savings, we have $1,576.73. Town checking, we have $1,226.38. The money market, we have $106,968.40. The LGIP general, we have 122,671 cents. The American Rescue Plan, we have $37,752.87. And the Southern Door Fire Department escrow is $130,612.95. No outstanding receivables? No. I mean, there is garbage collection out there, well, but that's but the county's yeah, problem. Yeah. That comes out. In. So we've got the, okay, yeah, I make a motion we accept the report. Okay. Right, second. All right, I have a motion to accept the uh, treasurer's report. All in favor? All opposed? Hearing none, it will carry. Uh, public comment. Anybody here? Is there anybody online, Larry? No. Okay. Hearing none, then we will move on to item number seven correspondence. A request from Amy. Did you see that? I sent it to everybody. <clears throat> I, I did. Larry, do you have that? Yeah, I got that. Can you see it? So this is a leader dog program, right? Yeah. Or a training program that they normally held what outside? No, I think no. They in, a lot of times at the fairgrounds, I think it was. Well, in different and it's places. it's cold, so they want to use a hall. And this Amy lives on um, North Forest Drive in in the town. In the town, yeah. So there, it's like an obedience class. It's, uh, I think, some of the girls, mm -hmm. you know, through 4-H, get an idea of what that thing is. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so they're teaching obedience with the animal here. Yes, yeah. that's what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Is that a is that another 4-H group? Like, don't we have already have 4-H groups? We have maybe? two groups, East Maplewood and uh, the Maplewood group. Okay. But they well, hold, this is East. They hold meetings here. Oh, so, so she's not doing she's, this with the 4-H club. She is to be something. It is, yeah. Separate. But it's East Maplewood Beavers. Yeah, it is. Beavers yeah, it is. Club. Yeah, yeah. They already look here, but she must be doing a different time, right, a different right. day uh -huh. with that. Well, what I what I think the difference is here. <clears throat> I think why she's asking this question is the kids come like we're having a meeting here right now, mm -hmm. right? They have their monthly meeting. Well, right. this is I'm going to have a meeting. But you're going to bring your pet and we're going to do our training here on how you handle and I teach you how to do these types of things. Oh. So it's and more of a workshop type thing versus. Sure. So this got to be for like, do, do they take dogs? Do they store dogs at the fair? Yes. Okay. So, so that's that, you what know, that how is. How you hold it, how you get the dog, you know, okay. sit, that, that yeah. type of training stuff. But this is on a weekly basis. <clears throat> and the 4-H club just meets on a monthly, monthly basis. basis. Correct. Mm-hmm. The only thing, um, certain Mondays are taken, Tuesdays, some Tuesdays are taken, Thursdays. So I don't know. We had talked about looking at the schedule for reservation mm -hmm. for, instead mm -hmm. of the entire town hall, uh, breaking it mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. meeting room, right. large meeting room, small meeting room. Mm -hmm. uh, we've not done that at this point. All those that are booked right now are for the large meeting room. Right. Mm -hmm. Those we are all already booked. Mm -hmm. right. So we even have be able to do that on a weekly uh, basis. Not on a weekly basis. Wednesdays would probably be the best day. Uh, but the only one uh, the sanitary district meets here yep. in this room. That's about the only day that would be available on a weekly you basis. Want them having a meeting and dogs are barking in yeah. the other room. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> so you don't get too many people that show up to for our meetings. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, the three commissioners, um, uh, one of the members from Robert E. Lee, and sometimes uh, it's uh, McMahon Associates mm -hmm. person that comes to it. So there's only five people. <clears throat> so you meet in this room. Yeah. What group meets in here? That, it looks like a 4 H group that sometimes meets in this room and has sets another table up and leaves mm -hmm. the There's East Maple, they have a huge group. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big group, yeah. I know one time we had our meeting in here and they set up a table in the hallway. They had right and overrun with the different groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like they're doing arts and crafts and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and would would a Wednesday work for them? I guess that's the question. Yeah, I would have to ask her. She didn't really specify on on her request no, here, just on a weekly basis. Just on a weekly basis, yeah. Um, she claims in there that they clean up the Bible for mm -hmm, themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that something? We, it's a four H type project. That's something that we do on a because it's a four H group mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's gratis from the town's right, perspective. Right. Right. Just a matter of uh, see if we can get it started and see what see what comes of it. Mm -hmm. I guess. All you can do is try. Yeah, as long as they're not yeah. wrecking anything, which mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. ever see any of those yeah. kids yeah. aren't. Mm -hmm. They're not not yeah. Yeah. It's not a yeah. She doesn't really say how many, and you know, I'm sure there'd be a few of them. As long as they're willing to clean it and put everything back and yeah. give it a whirl, and, and okay. it's and not it affecting, it works for them. right, and yeah. it doesn't affect the other. And who knows? Maybe they'll have to change, be open to changing their their right, schedule, right, right. Mm -hmm. their schedule and little flexibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and they're really doing it every week. That's why it's on a yeah. weekly basis. Wow, we're training for the fair. Yep. And it would be through the winter months until it warms up, then they work at the oh, fairgrounds. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, just tell me to tell you on a product. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I agree with that. I think mean, consensus is a sounds like a good thing. Would work out. Do you need a motion? 
Well, I don't know that you really need a motion, do no, you? No, maybe not. Not a, no, right? As long I'll as the board is agreeing. Just, yeah, they're, they're just renting. Yeah, they're just renting the home. They're not really. How about the dog was doing okay with you? Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't ask. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I won't. Really okay. I mean, they're all good kids. They're training dogs on obedience. Generally, the dogs are already at uh, that state of right. being relatively right. well responded. To. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Item B is absentee ballot in the vote. Yes. I have to show you this because I thought it was just ridiculous. I ordered envelopes. We got that grant for yeah for uh, election, you know, and so I got the five hundred envelopes, and these are not acceptable because the company put state and zip code on the bottom. And the state did not approve that. That was not on their original order. Because so I got to throw these out. Wisconsin. So are they going to credit us back and give them? I just got the credit today. I, and I said, just cancel it because I can get them from Jill. Okay. So hmm. I kind of jumped on it right away when I got the um, letter and the, and the grant to order them because we had to spend it. And then all of a sudden, Jill said she would do it for us. Well, it was too late. I had already sent it in. So I did get an order for the outer envelopes, which I'll be using a few of those. So you got a whole bunch of these. Yeah. So now I got to rip them all up. Oh, Try them and rip them all up. I take them. Well, I could send them out and ask for donations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that to me, that is so crazy that, you know, just because. just because of that. And years ago, if the state and uh, if, the, if the street number, city and state and zip code was not on here, I had to send it back to the person who was voting. Like if somebody, you know, they voted, okay, so. you know, their state and everything, I put that on here and then they sign it. But the, the person who witnesses their signature has to include everything on there. And if they don't, if they just put, you know, John, John Brown and, and put, Sturgeon Bay, I had to send it back. Yeah, it had to be the full address. Now. Right, but now you can't put the city or state. No, no, yeah, the city or no, the city, no, the, the state, state or zip, zip code is not required. And years ago, if it wasn't on there, it even the zip required. code, well, it wasn't that, yeah, if the elections the, commission thing, yeah, yes, yeah. it was, it was a printer that, that made the mistake because they thought, well, let's put state and zip code on which. Make should be on there uh -huh. and years ago if the zip code wasn't on i could not put it on i had to send it back and have them put the zip code on that's how strict they were i think it's just ridiculous but but you'll have them in time for everything so yes be yes okay. uh-huh uh -huh. yeah. and i did get the credit on on that one order well, that was good you figured they'd print them off and then you get no credit <laughs> yeah i was afraid of that too <laughs> <laughs> That should be it for correspondence, unless uh, else there's can... yeah, Todd Weckler. Weckler. Yeah. Conditional use permit, but that's down here under the that's oh, on correspondence. Oh, that's on correspondence. Too. Oh, you know, I oh. I revised the agenda maybe on yours. Oh, well, it's all. It's Is it on both? Everything. Mine says thirteen is road and road work. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Road and road. Uh, yeah. You have another one of what you have? Here. Just so, <laughs> you can mark it, but just, I'll, I'll keep that one. What, what, what are we working on? That was okay. the one that I had sent. So seven correspondence. Okay. Yeah, just don't mark it up too much. Yeah, I mean, no, I won't. Oh, I, I got two. Up. Oh, we'll you have two? Here, here you go. Okay. Perfect. This one's all signed there. Okay. Thank you. This is 13 in road and road work. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the same page now. Yeah, so I printed mine. Off, but it might have been earlier, yeah. And right, then I revised right. it when, you know, after yeah, I talked to you. When I posted it on the website. Oh, yeah. I didn't send you the new one. That's what you oh, sent well, me the post. We could. It doesn't matter which one. Whatever. Oh, I mean, it's fine. That's what I saw on the email. Okay. This one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Me too. Whatever one you approved at the meeting just now is the one you used. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we approved this thing. So. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So what are we gonna do? Yeah, so, uh, which one did you approve? Yeah, which one do we? <laughs> I thought we approved this thing. 
Because this is what we have. What did you sign? So this is the one she just gave me. Okay, so what did we sign? The one we that signed one. was well. That's the one she Yeah, gave that's, the one. that's the one you yeah. signed. We're, yep. yeah. we're good. We yeah. signed a proper one. So we're moving on to, to Todd Weckler additional use permit application. Oh, good. That's where I thought she should be. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Did you get all those papers? I do have all those papers. Did you see that? Yeah, I see them. You saw it. You wanted a copy? Sure. So, generally, when we have a hearing, we give the background information so that everyone is aware of what the, I that, so. the application is for. And so, I just like to read that into the record as well so that when you and I think the board is going to serve as a uh, committee as well and send the recommendation to the resource planning committee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the background history as provided by the planning department, the five acre lot was created in 2004 and is considered a substandard buildable lot. Grandfather is what we used to call it. Wardsville adopted comprehensive zoning in 2008. The property has contained three manufactured homes since the adoption of zoning. However, only the middle one has been used for living quarters. The manufactured home located closest to the road is used for storage. The westernmost manufactured home is connected to the middle manufactured home and contains a freezer and has been used for storage purposes. The applicant had an opportunity to replace the existing leaking manufactured home with a newer manufactured home that had been set delivery prior to the hearing where the opportunity would be lost. The newer manufactured home will meet the required setbacks and meet the 10% limitation for non-conforming uses. All that's really important, you know, as we're thinking about um, accepting this application. The two most westerly manufactured homes will be temporarily relocated to the northwest portion of the property. So the newer manufactured home can be placed in the same location and connected to the existing sanitary system. Reconnection permit is required. The applicant plans to dismantle and remove the two relocated manufactured homes. All important information when we are um, considering whether or not to um, allow this conditional use permit, because once that's given, then they can get a permit for actually installing the um, new mobile home. So the new home would be connected to the existing sanitary uh, on site. So what happens to the one that's there now? They would pull that away? Existing manufactured homes that have to be pulled away. Right. Well, they're going and, to be relocated to the yeah, and so in the back corner of that property. So remember that if you're in favor of that being okay, or how long that's going to be allowed is something that we can condition this permit for. Not only are they moved, but they are dismantled and removed by a certain date. There was already action by this prior town board or this town, yes. whenever. Yes. That. We've already gone through this process, and those that one closest to the road was to be removed and was not. Right. So, in in so doing this, it is a, it's not our authority anymore to make that happen. I, I understand but that. The but now, if we condition this new permit with the re dismantling and removal of those. Um, then there's, there are financial penalties, et cetera, that go with that okay. until it is done. Would we put a uh, a time? I think obviously we, That's if they we relocate, want, okay, we, we would have one. Definite date. Yes, definite date. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it sounds like he's going to be getting rid of two, really bringing one in. So in, in hindsight of all of this, he's keeping one for storage yet, right? He's keeping mm -hmm. the one north. Or the west one, sorry, the right west one. Three. Three. Yeah, we have three. three of them there right now. So, so he's taking he's two out, bringing one back in. So you right, see. but there's still the current one there that's not mentioned here as to what's going to happen with that. So right. that can also be uh, condition as being removed as well. Right. 
Now, it sounds like he's already accepted delivery of this new home, but he can't connect all of it without the permit. I think the new, I haven't gone by there or anything, but it sounds like the new home is probably delivered. I can read what happened back in 2008 on the minutes. I looked it up today. Right. In February 18th of 2008, the, in my minutes were Todd Weckler's request to replace or to place six mobile homes on his property was discussed. Four mobile homes would be dismantled and two would be linked together for his residence. The town board will review the matter at the March meeting and maybe may set a deadline for the removal of the dismantled mobile homes from Weckler's property. So in March, Todd Weckler's request, request to dismantle four mobile homes and use two other mobile homes for his dwelling was discussed. A motion was made by Edson, second by Gerald, to allow Todd to dismantle four mobile homes by September 30th and to allow Todd to use two other mobile homes for his dwelling. A motion carried and that one Mobile home was never moved, and I know Edson had talked to him about it, to removing it, and it never was done. Jerry wrote a letter too, I believe. I think so. Yeah. I do remember that. So right now there's three of them. That's there's what this three. picture is right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what it sounds like one was removed at some point, but there's still a few there, right? I believe that's true. Yeah. Plus it can't. Four were supposed to be this. So what is his, not all, all of them. That's one is one is being lived in and the rest are just storage. Yeah. One is storage. I always thought there was one Ooh. parcel right there. One storage and the second one it is, is it is. It, it is. is. This is the freezer, freezer, freezer and air yeah, storage yeah. in it. I think they live in it. Oh, the same guy. No, no. Yeah. This okay. is somebody else. These are okay. This is two separate parts. This is Iker. Oh, oh if you it's go... this mess here. Uh, this one, these two is those are the ones that were supposed to be removed, right? Which one is he living? Which one here? Over the, here. the central oh, middle the one. Yeah, this one. one here is the one that must have a freezer in. The okay. one closest to the road. Is this, this one? This one. is the one that's used that for storage. It, 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 well, maybe. I don't know maybe, what it is. It's falling apart. Right. But that's the one that has to go for sure. Okay, so what he's asking he's for. He's saying it. moving these two to the northwest. He wants to bring them back here and dismantle them. Yes. Meaning, long gone. Gone, gone. I mean, that's what, we, <laughs> and, and that's what our, that's what the, if, if you agree that he, he should have a new um, house to live in, he, we would allow, we would recommend that the county allow it if with these conditions. And then it's the county's duty yeah. to make sure that those conditions. So they are never met. got dismantled back in 2008. No. Correct. And some of them must have, because there were six original. Oh, there were six. Yeah. Yeah, oh. so some of them did, but the job didn't get finished. Maybe they did three, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. So when it's all said and done now, just that I'm understanding this, yep. according to what he's asking, correct? He's going to keep yeah. the center one because that's where I'm living in. I'm going to attach a second one. Mm -hmm. this. He's going to yeah. replace that. All of those have to go. Those two have to go. In other words, the one that he's living yeah. in, which is the middle one, right? And, and this one, right? And the, and the little storage one. So there are three. They'll all be gone. Yeah. But what's confusing somewhat in this history thing, well, it's not because he's living in that one, but he's getting a new one. So he's replacing that middle one. But he's not saying what's happening to that one. No. And I think, it, you know, some we have to say in our condition that all three have to be removed, removed and dismantled. Mm -hmm. and right, that's why I'm confused. Like, am I getting right. rid of three and I'm bringing two in? Or no, I, I'm getting rid of three and you're one. bringing one in. You should have one. One on this mm -hmm. property, yes. I mean, it's supposed to be bigger and have enough space, you know, for him. That's one of the reasons, plus the old one is leaking. And... But in the meantime, he's yeah. taking the other ones, moving them back to the property right. to dismantle. Right. Got it. Correct, yeah. yeah. But, but I then think he has no storage whatsoever, right. though. What would you do with whatever those are? Yeah, and it depends on, I don't, let's see, let's go back if they tell us what is the saying, right? The one no, next to the no. road is, the one supposedly next to the road had been used for storage. <laughs> that is supposed to be empty now and ready to, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I I'm just giving the history. history. I'm just giving the history. You you say everything with your eyes, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I'll just sit here. Sunglasses. <laughs> okay, so it's obvious what some of our concerns are, our biggest concerns. The concerns that are probably minor, but maybe to me, but maybe not to the board. So we just have to talk about the fact that it is um, a non-conforming use in the first place because we are zoned agricultural and you should have 20 acres. However, this is a grandfathered lot is buildable. So a residence can be there right. and a manufactured right. home can be uh, a use there because we've allowed it in um, for farm families and other small areas where there was already a lot and mm -hmm. uh, a residence on it. So I don't think that should be a difficulty in this situation as no. far as um, contrary to our current zoning. Is that agreeable to I would agree. I agree. Um, to everybody here? We do want people to have a place to live. No. And he is trying to improve the situation. We just want to help them a little with you know a little encouragement sure. that you cannot have this home without penalty if you don't do these things by this date. Right. So I think that date for dismantling and removal needs to be Specified. Very specific. Very yeah. specific. Yeah. And, and now we're coming on to the winter months. Right. How much time did that take? You pour something in. It goes spring. It's going to be wet back there. It is wet. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, you've got to be realistic yeah. in what no, you're I, trying. I, I agree. You know, I, I, I think that set date, even if you could do it within a year, I mean, we've been yeah. sitting right. on this thing for how long? Yeah, generally a year is given to conform with right. these conditions. Doesn't that make sense? Makes sense. Sense. A, a year would be fair. Because yeah. you have a, a whole summer to exactly. rip this right. apart. Right. Or even and the ground's frozen, you can start. I don't know yes, what it is. Um, what but does for a living. dismantled means not on the property any longer, not just I ripped it down and threw it on a pile and the rats are running through it. Yeah, well, that would be dismantled, but removed has to be included. Right, so that's my whole point. And removal yeah. within a year. Yeah. I mean, that's where I'm at. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I think that uh, county and the county and the would agree with that. Otherwise, because if you look at your paperwork here, there's a whole list of Things that uh, they will look at. Their Whether the proposed yeah. project will adversely affect property values, you know, it should improve property Yes, values. it should. Whether the use is similar to others, yes, it is. And I think Todd, in some of his application, answered some of these questions. Um, whether proposed project is consistent with uh, their finding comprehensive plan for the town of Forest Hill, yes. Yeah, yeah. um, approved sanitary, got that. Uh, potable water, got that. Solid waste disposal. Yeah, it's he has garbage bins, whatever, like everybody else. Um, but that's where we have to say, as, Ke as Kevin said, when those uh, uh, units are dismantled, they have to be removed. Correct. Yeah. They have to be removed. Yeah. Um, and he'll need a permit for that because of. Uh, they have to be checked for hazardous material, you know, all that kind of stuff. Just like we took mm -hmm. our we took our building down, and it had to be inspected. Same right. Thing. But that's it's the same that's, process. That's, that's still same. part of our building mechanical code. Right, and it's also part of the concrete yes. process. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So okay, um, we won't interfere with the road or anything else. Because yeah, all the setbacks are correct. Um, whether the Project adversely impacts neighborhood traffic. No adequacy of emergency. He did get the fire department out and they said yes, it's acceptable. Uh, provision for proper surface water. Well, so it is low land, but because of it being up anyway, yeah. there shouldn't be a problem there. Um, it's sort of like uh, approving uh, cottages on Riley Bay um, when we had all the water going, you know, right. in, into the heavy water. Um, whether buildings contribute to visual harmony, existing buildings and stuff. Yeah, it's it'll be better than it is now. Um, excessive ex exterior lighting, does, has he ever done that? I don't think He's so. He's got no lighting. Uh, I don't think yeah. there's any lighting. Um, it doesn't uh, lead to a major change in the natural character. Mm -hmm. It should improve it again. Um, that's not any there. Um, 
Oh, for, for 16, whether and to what extent site specific conditions should be imposed to mitigate potentially problematic impacts of the use. So that's where we want to say no more gathering of full mobile homes for storage or anything else. You know, that remove what you have and um, keep your home, whatever. Okay. Right. What about storage? Like I said, for that. Well, at, at some point, I'm, at, at some point, I would assume we will um, request a permit to build some something or whatever. Put but some kind of shed up or something. Uh, yeah, I yeah. would think it's inside like a garage or something yeah. that it would be um, acceptable. But you still would have to go through the permit process in order to, right. to get that, so it's put in the right spot. You know, all those kinds of things. Right. Um, but that's a separate issue. That's a separate issue right. when it comes. Mm -hmm. But Kevin is right to bring it up because he's going to say, at some point, he's going to say, I need storage. Yeah. But he will have to be told it cannot be one of the existing a, tra a tractor trailer yeah. <laughs> to put your stuff in. Because that's not, <laughs> that's not acceptable in this particular um, site, on this site. Okay. So, um, I guess uh, uh, as the town board is serving as a committee, I'm sort of serving as like what the RPC would have to be questioning so that when we make a recommendation, we're sort of on the same um, plane as they are. So there's not back and forth. We don't have to do this two or three times. So in the... Um, recommendation that we would give to uh, the RPC, it asks, um, uh, legally noticed, yes, reason for the town's decision. So we are saying it's, it is a grandfathered lot. We do think that this person should be allowed to have a residence there. This would be an improvement. And then these are the conditions right. that we would um, we, these under these conditions, we recommend that this um, cup be uh, um, given this to this permit. applicant. Yeah. yeah, this permit be given to this. Yeah, and let's be clear what the conditions are. Yep, the removal of all three of those mobile homes. Correct. Dismantle and remove. Dismantle, and dismantle, and and within, within one within year. year. So in twelve months. So twelve months from the date that the they permit. issue the permit. Yep. Yep. That's usually when it happens. Okay, yep. so that's what we'll write on there. And then um, Ruth would be signing this. Um, there was something else. He's got to meet the required setback on the sideline, though. He does. Yeah, he does. He all does. It said that all yeah, the okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yep. just, all the setbacks are there. So all of that is good. You know, that part is good. Um, okay, so. Um, I can help. We want to, yeah. I can fill that out and just have you sign it. Mm -hmm. And I can drop Do you have a copy? Uh, I didn't print it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have several here. <laughs> but did you want this whole thing? Here. We can have this one, then I'll take it. Okay. Or you can have both. <laughs> we've already said both the kind of a long time ago. So we've been down to two to begin with. Right. Yes, right. that's very true. So that's why, you know, um, it has to be in place. Mm -hmm. And again, we, um, yeah, he did write all these things down there. So sometimes we must have talked to him pretty carefully because he was able to write in some of the stuff that we're studying. Yeah. So it's not that he doesn't know, it's just that it didn't get done. I, I was, there's one concern here real quickly. It just said, um, by what month and year will the project be completed? He wrote in September 2023. So that's what made me think that the the new home is already sitting there. I thought I already read that in in uh, Martha's email. Yeah. That he had to accept the he home. Accepted the, yeah, accepted right. delivery. But I don't know accept delivery there. because of whatever. Yeah. The cost, I'm sure it was. Uh, However, that played out, but I thought that's what I read when I looked at it. Well, yeah. if somebody's trying to, had to get off somebody's lot, that right. evidently somebody was doing something with it. So right. he right. had to get it taken by a certain time. Yeah. So the project's not completed, but he, right. has, he has the whole home already sitting there, is what it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Either that or he's got it on him. Ready to come there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He needs to get it. Because I don't know that I've stuff. seen it there. Okay. 
So we can, I can ask that question. Yeah. 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 But what that means, all right. But in general, that wouldn't change uh, our recommendation. No, no, I don't think so. I don't really know if it matters, right? I mean, no. if we're recommending it, who cares or when it, where it's right now? Yeah. yeah. And again, we did a meeting for concern if it was delivered. And here we go, we have a, a board. First one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. right. But the neighbors can still go to the conditional use hearing and, they can. and yeah. file their letters and complaints and deal with whatever they need to deal with. And they'll and take they, up all of that. And they should. But you might hear from them anyway. <laughs> there was one neighbor that did call me and said, oh, don't let them bring more junk in there. So. Well, yeah. if you're yeah. making them clean up the other, he doesn't yeah. need a better yeah. home to live in. He does, yeah. He yeah. Does. yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's. Yeah. Thank you very much. should be an improvement. Uh, uh, no, I think, though, that if you do we need to make a vote? We should, because that, that really. Um, otherwise, it's just me saying that's what the board says. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept uh, the conditional use permit based off of the removal of the. Three mobile homes and dismantling and mm -hmm. removal from the property within a 12 month period of the permit, considering the county gives them one. Yeah. You know, for the township. Right. I think we would accept that. Um, that would be my motion. I accept that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. I all opposed, hearing none, that will pass. Thank you very much. Thank you, Monica. All right. Uh, item number eight, Southern Door Fire Department report. <clears throat> you guys are lucky you get two reports in one. <laughs> the reason is we the annual meeting and a regular meeting. So the annual meeting was held September 27th at the Forest Fire Station. And I'm going to read you quick the uh the chief's report, the year his yearly report from Rick Olson. <clears throat> Tonight a chapter closes on the Southern Art Fire Department that most of us did not think would ever happen. One of the founding municipalities. Is leaving to start their own department. It has been a year of meetings, discussions, inventories, valuations, and negotiations. Most will agree that they are glad it's over. In my eyes, the highlight of this year was taking delivery of the new engine 906. It's the accumulation of years of planning, research, and debate of the vehicle committee. As the original plans needed to be altered to best suit the South Station, we are happy with the final product. We are very proud to have the truck in service and ready to serve the community for the next two decades and beyond. The year also has been filled with all of our usual activities. We held fire prevention education at Southern Door Schools. We had an open house at the South Station for the community to see our, our equipment up close and answer any questions that might have that might have come about. We set up our bounce house inside the station because of extremely windy conditions. We held a tremendous fundraiser picnic on July 29th. It was well organized, well run, and well attended. This year's goal was to raise money for equipment to outfit the new truck engine. To outfit the new engine, it has been suggested we make next year's goal to buy a new brush truck. We had training every month throughout the year with topics including ladders, ropes, knots, grain bin rescue, scene size up, pump operations driving course, SCBA drills, ice rescue, grass fires, hose testing, and bloodborne pathogens. And of course we had, we have had two calls to respond to. This year we went on a total of 216 calls. This is more of a normal call number for us, down from last year's 270 total call volume. There is a breakdown in his, his actually is that his year end of report. We made two changes in our guidelines. One <laughs> expands the area of where our members can live or work. The second is regarding the hiring of school age members to recruit for our future. Our guidelines will require 
will require an extensive overhaul this winter to update after the split occurs. We had our 2% annual fire dues audit in April. We were asked to provide evidence that we are doing our job as a department to provide fire protection for our community. We need to show evidence of inspections, training records, fire incident reporting, and public education. Our department passed with no issues. We were honored by being asked to host a press conference to highlight the program through the state and where our money is used. Now, I would like to close on some personal thoughts and reflections from the past two years. When I was hired, I was asked with under, I was asked with unifying the department. I held personal conversations with every member on the department that I could. I asked each person what ideas they had to make the department better and what they felt was good and bad about the department. The majority of the responses were, we need better communication and fair and equal treatment. I implemented both recommendations as priorities in the decision I made while running the department, but it was not enough, but it was not enough. The wheels had already been turning long before my hire to move things in a different direction. It probably didn't matter who was hired as chief, the outcome would have been the same. It seems that over time there have been it seems that over time there has been division within the staff as the split has evolved. I see that like-minded people have sorted themselves together at separate stations. As we move forward, I hope each station works well to works together amongst themselves to serve their community, which has which has been the common goal all along. Thank you to everyone who has helped me along the way. I will always remember those who have supported me through this challenging times, and I will forget never forget those who made the times challenging. Respectfully, Chief Olson. Um, <clears throat> the different committee reports were presented and accepted, and at the end meeting, moving on to any meeting, the treasurer's report was, was presented and accepted. The budget was proposed and accepted for a total of $249,815.24. The budget was, uh, oh, I'm grieving. <laughs> well, also accepted were the new bylaws and she pre presented um, letters of members of the fire department who are retiring as the split is occurring, those who are just quitting as the split is occurring and letters of termination to the members of the Southern Fire Department that are now with Massawaki Fire Department. Beverages and pizza were enjoyed after the meeting. For a regular meeting, it was held October 11th. As for the bylaws, election of officers are held the first meeting after the annual meeting. And election for president, I was re-elected president. Vice President went to Patrick Olson, also re-elected there. Secretary Stephanie Jurgensen and Treasurer Chuck Schley. The Treasurer reported $19,811.10 in the Nicolay checking in what we call a small checking, which is the the funds we have received from Nassauwapi for the first uh, the sale of the first truck and the for four airbags, um, ten thousand seven hundred two dollars and fifty cents, and that that checking account will still be open yet. We still have some outstanding outstanding bills to come in yet from from lawyer lawyer fees. The Nicolay money market three hundred seventy nine thousand one hundred ninety six dollars and sixteen cents. The capital credit union money market, which is more of a CD, $50,395.14 for grand total, $460,104.90. Ruth Kersher has uh, a has few. All righty, moving on in the an abbreviated chief's report. 
three fire calls last month. And out of those three fire calls, if the split had occurred, it would only have been one because two were in the, in the township of Nassauabee. Um, September 15th, County DK, um, I believe that was by, by Renard's Cheese, two, two, two vehicle accident traffic, we provided traffic control and road cleanup. September 26, 2490 New Settlement Road, a camper fire. Um, fire started inside a camper, also burned another small shed alongside. There was other campers in the vicinity and a 500 gallon propane tank. Um, Sturgeon Bay was called as backup, but never, they were never used. And October 10th, which was the, the night before our actual meeting, um, 778 Sand Hill Road, a shed fire was mutual aid to bug mutual aid to bug fire department. Um, small small shed burned. We provided an engine, a tender, a squad, and a chief. There a lawnmower had been used earlier in the day, and as a possible uh, source of the fire. Eleven EMR calls in the since September thirteenth. Training in October will be driver training located SNS Jersey Land Dairy. <laughs> it was you, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the Chief 360 is the, the app that the firemen have on their phones that uh, they can re respond to at, uh, what, 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 where the, if they can go or not. Um, the demo is still in progress. There are things they, they like, there are things we don't. The other one that we have now, which is called Active 911, is uh, the renewal is December 2nd, so they're still trying out this Chief 360 until then. Um, a solenoid valve was repaired at the Clay Baines Town Hall. Must have something to do with, with the water, with the system there. there. We sold three pagers that uh, obviously got, they were Unication pagers. We have, we all run. They all run Motorola. They were kind of an oddball pager, so they sold them to a Pelican Fire Department. Scott Krieger has stepped down from the department. Fire prevention was held um, at Southern Door School October thirteenth, which was last Friday. Open house was held this last past Sunday, past Saturday, at uh, the Forest Fire Station. And it, it was really good turnout. There. Were, they were surprised at how many how many families came and checked out. Picnic late picnic date is July twenty seventh. Just a couple more things. Um, in all other matters, open authorized by law, we put old engine nine hundred six. Out on seal, uh, out, on, out for sealed bids. We, we were looking for for sealed bids. Chief Olson put it out on um, the fire chief's network, and we did not receive any inquiries at all to the whole state network of fire chiefs association. Um, one sealed bid came in from from Bunk Fire Department. For, for a total of $54,000, and that was approved by the board. A sell the bug pending, it passes the pump test. And then one last thing, um, not really happening at everything, but Barry, last last month you mentioned you were looking through the, the, new, the new bylaws. Well, we hadn't seen <laughs> the final version of it. Right, but you were, uh, you were questioning the, um, the capital improvement plan mm -hmm. that why why it wasn't presented that part of the the bylaws was new that was brought in okay. that, yes that, that, was, that, was, that was brought in right. from from bug fire department and not uh i had said that we we hadn't really had time when you know right whatever. but it, it was it was it was new it hadn't been adopted yet into our <clears> bylaws. Right. but now yearly that uh that capital improvement plan will be presented to the Townships on an annual basis. On an annual basis, right? Do we have final copy then of the uh, adopted operating agreement? That would be between the townships. The operating agreement is separate from the bylaws, right? So the bylaws we have changed. So the so I guess I'm I'm curious about both. 
<laughs> so the bylaws with the committee, Mike and uh, Terry, mm -hmm. they didn't want to change the bylaws because that's worked for 40 years, is how Mike kind of put that. And he's like, there is really no reason to change it and this is with Randy Nesbitt's input as well. Um, because it got us through the entire process following it just exactly the way it was. Okay. But what we, you know, all the concerns that the board has had um, was addressed through the agreement on the other side, right? So it's like the bylaws really wasn't a So problem. the bylaws have not changed. The bylaws have not changed, but there is one thing that we, we do want to add. Um, <laughs> And we're still talking about how to how we want to put it in there and word it. Because when we went to the annual meeting, a comment had came up by some of the fire fighters. And we think it's a good thing, to be honest with you, as we sit and talk about it, um, that the townships, the remaining three townships, be tied in for another extended period of time, right? The original bylaws were written. You had a 10 year period. Well, we're all well past the 10 year period. Like 40. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is this is what we want to do is, is redo that wording that the three townships would be tied in, right? Because in our minds we're thinking, well, nothing would ever change anyway, but not so nobody ever knows, right? Right. Then we also want to kind of tie it in that how this is actually going to start to go a little bit here in our minds is they're not really going to be able to bank dollars like they did in the past. You know what I mean? For a fire truck or whatever, they're not going to have the assets to do that like you did before. Um, potentially. Not not like you were able to. That well, they, that's, they, yeah, that's where a capital plan. Correct. Correct. Because that's right. Okay. Again, those were the things we addressed on the other side, right? The, the okay. two agreements. <laughs> that when they come and with that capital plan, and the boards would know ahead of time, right? We're going to be looking to buy a new truck in 10 years, in five years, whatever that is. That the towns, we would all end up taking a loan to pay for that vehicle, or, or the fire department would take that loan. It all drives us. Right. right. It would automatically update the three townships agreement that you can't leave for X amount of time until that truck is paid for. You, you can't get out. Well, I understand that. that. That's what we want to do. Well, I thought we were working on that. We are, but I'm just letting you know, because at first they were, Mike is thinking, well, it was fine just the way it was, but I, that one part is something uh, we talked about and I think we're gonna, gonna add on. To that agreement. Do we have any idea when that might be concluded? Or the agreement between the townships? I would say maybe by the end of the year we'd have that done. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing is <clears throat> the boat did sell that has gone to Bugfire Station, like we had talked about. I mean, we had gone as, as far as a group. Mm -hmm. For the dollar amount that we had talked about. And the proceeds went. They wrote that check out to, I do believe, the side of their door fire Six, department. Right. Correct? Yes. 68% went to Nassawapi. Um, 15% went to the village. Here. Was that embedded in that initial payment that, or the payment that was made, put into, no. the, uh, into the escrow account we now have? No, that, that, that never went into in, in, in the account at all. Well, it You're, went. It's going into what we call that small checking, but it's 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 divided off already. In fact, I should have brought you a check, then, Dina. Sixty-eight percent went to Nassawapi. Okay. Fifteen percent went to the township of Horsell. Twelve went to Claybanks and five. Yeah, the agreed to print five percentages. Right, right. Yeah, five, by those percentages. Yes. Right, by the, right. Okay. Because we did receive and put in escrow. The first part. The first part. Yeah. Right. 
you retained that initial amount of money to cover the correct uh, negotiating process and, and all the rest yep. of the things that went on. So if that boat sold, then that five thousand dollars is a part of the disposal of the process. Correct. Yeah, the there's a check waiting to get over by the end. That's all I asked. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yep. And as soon as the bills are done with the attorneys, then yeah, then, then the rest that, of that ten thousand seven hundred and eight right. divided all between the, the three townships here. Yeah. But as going back, oh yeah, some some of the some of the bylaws, Larry, yes, were changed. Yes, you know, there was added added in that capital improvement that was that was added in that that's brand new. The capital improvement plan, okay, that was adopted from part of part of the bugs fire department. But that, that not really what you know, just said. His is the operating agreement. Correct. Mine are the bylaws. Oh, okay. Okay. Those are, those so are revised bylaws. Really all your concerns, Larry, most of your concerns, almost 100% of them, have to be addressed in the bylaws, which they have been. Where is the copy of that? That's what we that's what we looked at the last time and have approved. So I mean we can get you a hard copy of what that actually you were, you were looking at it a month yeah. ago when you were you were asking me because you were looking through the bylaws saying well that was a change things with all kinds of colored markings. Right. Yeah. Right, right, because those were the uh, correct. The colored markings were because that's what we were actually changing slash adding to get to where we wanted it to be. Right. And that should have produced a final document. Would you say it's been adopted? Yes. Yeah. Now I'm looking towards that final document. Yeah, well, we can send that out to you. That's not yeah, a good well, I'm curious then if you guys are going to sell was a 906, is that what you're selling? The old one, the old 906. Do we have to split that money with? No, 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 that one hundred for those yeah. that dollars, those dollars are going to be designated, I believe, right going back, to pay to right the back to your truck. Okay, right back yeah. to on the truck. Yep, okay. on, the, on the new truck. Nope, they have no rights to any of those dollars at all. So you're going to sell the brush truck now? No, no, they're not going to sell it. The brush truck is probably the oldest truck that they have. They're looking to, to save money to buy a new brush truck. Okay. That'll be the, that'll the, be the next one. The next one to replace on your replacement schedule is right. a brush truck, right. which we don't have. Right, which we need, need to present to you this this next year. Oh, good. So they're thinking like about a year from now. Start looking at that. Well, I'm sure the firm are, are looking. You know, they have their wish list already. You know, they haven't haven't contacted anybody. You know, so we're just kind of waiting for everything to settle down here just a little bit. You know, and that yeah. one will then go for bid in the usual manner, or the old one, the brush truck, yeah. I would assume somehow. Okay. Again, I'd like that kind of thing should be spelled out and just like to see the final of these documents as they're developed. Now I understand. Sure. sure. Your piece isn't and yours is. So I can get a copy of that. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Not a problem. Oh well, good. And major Major purchases will will require, um, as I stated, Kevin, that at least at least one municipality board member on the you know fire department board needs to agree to the purchase. Correct. Where you know, say say they were going to go buy something, Chuck Shai and I can agree with it that 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 vote would not would not pass. Because it needs to be at least one from every one from each municipality, right? right. Well, again, which, which is six of us now. But that's that's in your bylaws, right? That's in our bylaws. That's new. I'll I'll, I'll find out later. Yep. Right. Because the bylaws are what address all of those. Oh, things. I understand that. That's the, the only reason I kept asking. Yeah. Okay. That's what I got. Okay. Thank <laughs> you, Lauren. That's enough. That's enough too. That's... Item number nine. Uh, Maplewood Sanitary District. Um, their budget meeting is going to be November 1st. Um, had a couple of conflicts that came up, and that's why we ended up scheduling it um, kind of a late date for it. Usually it's the last Wednesday of October because of our budget timing and everything. It just ended up being a week later. So, um, if anyone said the uh, November meeting try to be the 22nd, the way it looks like we're burning a meeting again. So uh, other than that, we're looking to keep on negotiating with uh, town or 
village of Forest, uh, Forestville with uh, for regionalization. So that's what we're looking at doing right now. So for hooking up, you're saying for hooking up, right? So we'll be redoing a lot of our stuff here and pumping it all the way down to Forestville. So then to their treatment plant down there is then exactly. <laughs> Taking care of the, the leach field up on top of the hill behind your church will be done with, and it has to sit for so many years according to the DNR, and we can turn around and sell the property for that. So that's what we got going with our, our just sanitary district right now. So, so the township owns that leach field? No, no, it's the sanitary district. The sanitary right? district, yes, yeah. that's part of our property yet. So, um, all our, all our lines run through. Uh, utility easement basically is what everything does. So, and is Forceville okay, or yeah. they're giving you problems, or what? no? They're we're trying to work out the the rates and all that right now yet. So that we have to go through and negotiate all that yet. So now the DNR was promoting that. Yes, they were pushing it very heavily. And so, they also had grant monies for the construction. Is yes, uh, we'll be getting 70% the way it looks like right now. So, Is there any construction yeah. timeline? What's that? A construction timeline? Or? Um, once we get the, the final details worked out, then we'll set, the, set up a time for the agreement and everything. Then we'll have to have a public hearing and all that stuff. So sure. It'll be all set that way. It'll be hopefully the construction could start um, end of next year, early part of 2025. Okay. That's what it sounds like right now. So so basically the tanks that are sitting at all the houses right now are gonna stay. Well, nope. the tanks, all the tanks will be gone. The only thing that will be staying will be our lift stations. It will actually get upgraded to a pump station. To a pump station. Um, um, there is going to be a force main, basically. What what we have right now, one that goes, you got the one buck across the road from your, your office yeah. there, uh, the one outside here, and the one by the church at the bottom of the hill there. That one all pumps up to the top of the hill. That one's going to be reconfigured and pumped the opposite direction and that'll be going towards Forestville then and what we figured um, is hooking the other two uh, pump stations to that force main and then putting in another lift station probably somewhere down on 42 so that it will be pumped all the way down to Forestville that way. And so those local tanks that yeah the local tanks will be going eventually yeah, so those are things that are Really giving you some fits over the years too. Um, a little bit. Yeah, not, not yeah. too bad. Well, you had some infiltration. And, you know. Yeah, um, because <clears throat> they're well, some of them are forty years old yet. Right. They're, exactly. So they're deteriorating down, and yep, they need to be replaced. So okay, but everything a few years back, I don't think it was within the last six or seven years we replaced like four tanks. Mm -hmm. So. But otherwise, they, they went around and did inspections last year and on all the tanks and everything like that to go through and get up to date and up to speed with uh, Robert E. Lee and everything so that they know what, what's going on with the tanks and what needs to be replaced or anything like that. So, so in essence, be removing them, just have a, a sewage system. Yeah, basically, you have like what you have in Surgeon Bay, just yeah. a straight system there. So, yeah. will that lower your monthly fees? Not for right. the residents? Um, because we have to maintain, we still have to maintain the lines here. Okay. So it, it'll still be about the same rates. It'll be a wash, okay. Yeah. yeah. Because then, our, like I said, we're still negotiating on the, the charges from them and how much. Uh, well, you'll, be, in essence, still have the Maple Sanitary District in place. Yes. But rather than maintain a leach field, you're going to be. We just, yeah, we're just just paying process for them to, to process yeah. the process of donor. Yeah, that makes sense. So, thank you. Um, cemetery report. I attended that town law conference, and my focus there was to concentrate on the 
uh, report basically that was offered with regard to cemeteries. Uh, we've not had any burials up there or sales, uh, and we have a cleanup schedule for Thursday. But what I did learn from that conference was that we can take some monies, I believe, a uh, municipality may terminate a care fund and transfer money to the general fund if the municipality owns the cemetery and provides all maintenance expense and perpetuity for the graves in the cemetery at the time of termination. Currently, we have a perpetual care fund. In the past, we've understood it not being able to touch that for maintenance. And what came out of this was the fact that it may well be possible for us to terminate that perpetual care fund, per se, put it in our general fund to offset the maintenance of the cemetery. I just had this, attended this conference last week, and I would like at some point to go a little further into that piece of it. Uh, there was another piece with regard to reporting. Do you do any reporting to the state? Not whatsoever. Mm -mm. Okay. I think that had to do more with associations, like maybe the church. I don't know. Did, you were on that with Joe for the cemetery. Well, Joe was on the committee. Yeah. He was on the committee. He but never I did know. any reports. There's Unless a the, tremendous amount the of... The diocese has a report. Oh, the diocese does? Okay. Yeah, because somebody's got to report to the state. Mm -hmm. I don't... It, not the municipalities but association, cemetery association. So that would be the diocese, kind of what I thought. Um, but anyway, I would want to pursue that a little further to find out because, um, Dina, what did you say we had in perpetual care fund? 11,000. Yeah, 11,000. Um, but we, according to what we said, the town can authorize the town board uh, up to $500 a year from that fund or improvements under the supervision of the town board. Mm -hmm. So we haven't taken anything out of that fund. Mm -hmm. In fact, we went to great lengths to separate mm -hmm. some of the entry errors. Mm -hmm. So I'll be pursuing some of that a little more as mm -hmm. we go forward. But I just thought I'd bring that out because to me it was quite interesting. And we're tentatively set for Thursday for our cleanup and markers to be put in place. All right. Thank you. Item number 11. Well, we have a real expert here. Next. Broadband. Agreement to establish, establish public-private partnership for the purpose of applying for broadband expense grant. Um, and then B, resolution authorizing creation of public-private partnership with connecting holding Two L L C Bright Speed. So, these papers here are correct. So, as I understood this, and correct me if I'm yeah. wrong, but when I was at that meeting, you were the media old paper. Uh, I have the your own committee. Give, give this mm -hmm. to Kevin. Oh, I have old yeah. ones. These are Gardner yeah, those are, yeah, go I, ahead. I, Revise them. Yeah, I put the force fill in there and the numbers. In there. Oh, whatever yeah. that was that they had during the meeting, and we're mm -hmm. saying that they're, they're, going, they're going to try and uh, what Bright Speed was proposing is to do it in two phases, right? Uh, phase one, exhibit. So oh, okay, I apply for some of the do you have this one? The grant money that's still available yet, and the deadline for that grant is oh, November seven. Yep. So there's a the grant. Get some of that money in so they can start the project now and Sounds take okay. care of the underserved or not served people in that area. Sounds okay. Because our our town of Forestville is we do not have hardly anything that's not served or underserved. Where the gardener does have a lot that's not served or underserved areas, and there's like what was there like. 900 people, yeah, 850 to 900 people. I think that's what it was. And they're they break that up so that they can apply for that grant now because next year there's one point, uh, one point zero two two billion dollars that's 
federal money that's coming through. Bead fund. Just, that's the bead fund, yeah, which is just the, the state of Wisconsin alone. Right. The state of Wisconsin gets that money itself. Uh, whatever the $700 billion that they're proposing to put out for all the states and everything. So we're getting, we know that we're getting one point, that $1 billion. Right. As I understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, but as I understood this, that Brightspeed was going to make that application on their own, um, and they're proposing to upgrade their infrastructure, their back end, if you will, to serve not only Gardner, but then as a second phase, then to take Brussels there. Union and force it. Right. Okay. And then the part of Gardner that was trying to be part of that was yeah. that is served right now, but it's not right. So, and should they be successful, that may have adjust what the net open cost would be. Yes. Be be, hopefully they can get more money they figured if they hit hit that and take care of that portion of it now. Right. The way it sounded like. And then when they can hit this other portion, um was that five years ago when they uh, when their century tail or century link yeah. they came through um if you go down uh, you got the box out in front of your place Larry there's a on new box road. down the road here on 42 there's one on the corner of H and O yeah. and over there there's one down here by uh by Stone Road mm -hmm. those are new boxes that there, there's fiber to those boxes right now. Well, the nice so, thick strands of fiber that's running down the road. Yeah, there. so they got they got some fiber backbone put in already. Mm -hmm. So that's why they figured their costs would be a little bit less. Um, with um, with the build and everything like that, they can they already got holes that they're on, so they can actually attach the poles and run it onto the cable that's up there. Um, for last to the strand and everything that's up there, and eventually possibly um, taking down the old copper line. So then they just have that fiber up on them right. too. So, so that they then because they are the wireline provider in the area, mm -hmm. that that reduces their make ready costs, their engineering costs. They understand a lot of the layout. Yeah, they understand a lot of the layout. Uh, one thing that they were they were looking at too is um, there's several addresses that were oh, not on their list their b 911 addresses right. and compared to what they have for their addresses in their system um part of at t comes into the town of Forsyth mm -hmm. from Tony yes mile mile and a half into the in the town of Forest Hill, going west is covered by at t so that some of those addresses were not and we're not covered in, in what they were figuring at first, but then they they went back and through when they're 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 still negotiating and some of those addresses that would verify that they are actual addresses with houses and E91 addresses type thing. So um those people will be covered under century like our right speed mm -hmm. instead of 18 feet. So since there is fiber. Say this because I work for ACP, unfortunately. So, <laughs> um, with um, um, areas where where copper lines are served at, um, there used to be old boundary lines. That's why we then cross them and everything like that. Um, when you're talking fiber optic lines and everything, we can cross. We can start crossing over boundary lines of that right now. So it sounds like so. That's one one of the rules that was implemented. Um, I'm gonna say ten years ago, probably. Mm -hmm. It was done that way when you know started talking about putting fiber to the house and everything. Um, there's different places that have uh, no compete clauses and stuff like that. So that's why they weren't going to be covering it. That's what they thought it was. But then they looked into it now more a little bit, and yes, we can go. Right up to the boundary of the town, so okay. so you're beginning fiber right up to the town. Yes, at least on the west side. <laughs> yes. So, so the um, the resolution that we have here is actually a resolution that says that we've already passed 
an agreement if we were in favor yeah. of the support. We're supporting it. Yeah. We're supporting it. Yeah, we're supporting and it. this resolution then, in essence, uh, as, I, as I read through this, would be entering in an agreement, if you will, provided that they have within a year get the get this infrastructure in place so that we then could then negotiate at the town level what the final price is for the phase two portion of that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't commit us to funding, but it does declare that we then are committing yes. to I, the I process. Correct. That's how I understood it as well. Okay. And the agreement is because Bright Speed needs agreements that they know we are still moving forward, not financially committing at this point in time. But for the grant purposes, they've got to have yeah. Yeah, that yeah. type of thing. Right. They they have have that, right. yep. that portion of the resolution has to be in writing so they can get Correct. that grant money right. 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 by right. November 7th. Yes. And right. those grant dollars, I believe, on this first grant really is more for the people who don't have the internet, which is the right. vast majority is sitting uh, over there. Uh, and that's uh, why they're doing it there first. Right. Right. And that's why. Because yeah. if that's the purpose of the grant, well, then let's not throw in the other people. Let's mm -hmm. okay. focus on money. Right. Right. Right, right, right. If that's what your grant is and that's what they're willing to give you money for, well, then we'll take right. that, those dollars and then we'll right. apply for the following afterward. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll that would be we'd have to do that in partnership with uh with bright speed but this this by passing this uh, ordinance just allows us to move forward we are not financially committed to anything at this point in time right Got it. Um, and then that that letter that was also uh offered up for in support of what they were doing we would also have to do that is that correct Yes, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But to that end, I would make a motion that we adopt resolution 2023, uh, authorizing the creation of a public private partnership uh, with Connect Holding to LLC, also known as or doing business as Brightspeed, with the sample or with the uh, associated exhibit. Which is basically a pro forma agreement, but it does not commit us to any funding until such time as they have completed that. And according to that, it's good for one year. Correct. Okay. So that's your motion? That's my motion. That's okay. All right. I have a motion on the table to accept resolution number 2023 03. Um, Authorizing us to authorizing the creation of a public private partnership with uh, Connecting Holdings Bright Speed and Exhibit A as well, agreement to establish private partnership for the purpose of applying for the broadband expansion grant. All in favor? Aye. Go ahead. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, it will carry. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised at Bright Speed's forward thinking, you know, going after Century Tell buying them because they already laid out that, that fiber optic cable how many years ago. Well, but yeah. th what they did is they saw that as an, they're an investment organization. They got $8 billion under contract doing this all over the country. Right. And they said, oh, wait a minute, they got all this fiber already in place. Let's, let buy this grid connect. Kind of but they kind of did money. that with, without any you know grant money. They just wanted to put it in just because they're going to do this. And then now right. these people are yeah. coming in and saying, hey, we need grant money to I continue. That one. Right. And we need the people that live there to pay for it. I also. need about three of them. Where someone else I, came in and tried to come in. We're going to start this. These people say, well, we're going to do it too, but we want everybody to pay for it too. Well, so, we, 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 it's going to ultimately we'll have to pay. Yeah. But, but it'll be. A public private yeah. partnership yeah. with grants, money, until we actually get that question. Well, that's available all of a sudden now nationwide. 
There's an argument in there as well. Yeah. So, and anyway. the exhibit yeah. in there. Crossing back to get to I'm going to the next one. Okay. Yeah, this one's yeah, exhibit. Let's see. One, two, three. I need the resolution. Yeah, I need whatever the all those. Yeah. So they just yes. Those uh -huh. are just signed by you guys, and now I'll need a copy of that. Yeah. Do I need to sign submitted by who? No, oh wait, not that one. Here. Um I have no, that one's not the right one. That's not the right one. Do you have a oh, here's, here's the one you, you gave me? Which one you need? You want them all back? Not this, yeah. Good. Not this one. This one I redid. But not this one. Make sure you got the right one. That's a mini, and I need some cut here. This one. This one's good. This exhibit A. Do you have another one of those? Yeah, I have another exhibit A. Right yeah, here. I need three of them. Okay. You have one there, right? Yeah, this one is signed. One. Yeah, this one is signed. I only need three, three of each. Yeah. Yeah, well, this one you signed too. Oh, he signed this one. Right, I signed one one set. Yeah. So here's an exhibit A. That okay. would be two exhibit A's. All right. Here's an exhibit A. And now you need it. Two, two more of the resolutions. Yeah, the right. resolutions. You have two resolutions. Well, exhibit A. Okay. Those were the ones I printed yeah. off, which I don't know. Here's the right. That's the wrong. That's the wrong. So, do you want front and back copies, or you want them to be separate papers? For I kind of wanted it separate, okay. but um, I have one here. Okay. Anybody else have one? And then I can just keep this on for my record then, too. That one that'll work. Well, I get one for this website, or you scan it. I'd email it to you, but our email doesn't work. Oh, um, that's the next topic of discussion. <laughs> it does work. Meaning we have no no broadband. It takes about six days to get through and bring it over. <laughs> that's what I meant. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Your neighbor has been here. That you too. Yeah, so I'll come over by you. Good grief. <laughs> Come up here. Working now. Will this one work for you, Larry? So, do I have one? Will that work for you? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And then the exhibit. And the exhibit. Now, this one, it says a test, and I'm also a notary here. But. Yeah, can you, you notarize, notarize if you sign the top? No. no. So, how are we going to. You're, you're the notary for his signature, and the bottom signature would be, be for bright speed, and that's something different. Oh, yeah, here's where I sign, right? And I sign here too. I'm also a notary, yeah. Okay, or do you sign your own, or do you have to have that notary? She's signed for the, she's signing yeah, for the clerk, the, yeah, but then she's got to sign for the notary too. Can you do that? Can you can't can you, notarize your own signature? No, no, mm, no. Well, you get it notarized, and but I'm attesting to his signature, yes, just his. That's all so, you can see. I don't understand. Have you seen that? Huh? Now you come up with this. See here, a test, and then here, here. and I'm a notary. But are you a notary for here both says, of these? Personally, came before me, Kevin did. You know, to be the person next to you. So, yeah, so you're. So I sign here and here. That doesn't right, make sense. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. You're going to have your name because you're the clerk. And then you're going to mm -hmm. notarize. But you're you're forward. notarizing not your signature. You're notarizing Kevin's yeah, signature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I would say it's going to be right here. You're going to I'm attesting that he signed yeah. this too. And then this one is going to be if they want it. If they want, yeah. That's, that's their their, 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 their will do that. Yep. That's their thing. Okay. So I'll sign this and and get a stamp on it and okay. then we'll give it to you. Okay. 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 Right. Good. I'll await that. Okay. Whenever it shows up. Okay. So we have exhibit yeah. then. Okay. So I hope they get the nice grant. And, yeah. I do too. So yeah, one of those resolutions. Yeah, see, I have that on there. And I know, like, at the, at the meeting, they're talking a little the bit. Um, with the, like, how they makes what they were doing there and everything. Um, they had a special meeting already where you kind of had everybody in like, the public notice type thing. And 
they had a town meeting because they were they went yeah, there's no the true what Bertram was for their provider. Um, they didn't get hardly any grant money and everything. So now the hell have to come up with all that money. So that's why they had to have a special meeting and everything. So they voted to borrow the money. So they say without grants, let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's his plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what what we have though is Gardner, Russell, Julian, Gardner, mm -hmm. and Forestville. Mm -hmm. And we have options here mm -hmm. because we can't commit the town board could commit to borrow money once we know what it is. We could do it with a town meeting like they did in Clay Bank. We could put it out to an advisory referendum. And that then has an election expense associated with it. And that's the what we mentioned. In April for in April. April. And if we wanted to go that route, we really won't know whether they're successful in this grant application that goes in on November 7th or 4th or whenever it is. Mm -hmm. And it may not be until March or April before they know. February or March, they said. I think that's what Jessica said in that meeting. Yeah, I think it was. And then, then they would come back. There's going to be a pair of public hearings or public meetings to explain what's going on. Yes. What it requires and what the cost then broke down, broken down by municipality. Right. And it currently, you know, we're, we, we were at that meeting. Yeah. We got to break down their estimates without this latest piece right. was in the look like to me if we got maybe a 25% grant it was about 1.9 1.8 million that would be on a cost mm -hmm. that the town would have to borrow right and that's all predicated on estimates that were made prior to this phase one phase two setup all right. we're doing is saying hey we want to continue to go forward here and then we want to probably right. by early spring find out what it will cost yeah. and then decide how we want to proceed, whether it goes on the ballot right. or whether we have a town meeting, whether we, whatever. Because in May, June area, I guess, it was when they were supposed to open up the, the B grants. Yep, yeah, that's when the B grants start. The applications can start coming in. So Right, right. So, but we're just put, putting ourselves in the proper position, right? And it's that. and it's not saying that how much we're getting or anything, because it's yeah, it's up to the state to decide on that. Unfortunately, so yeah, we, we, we have to wait and see on that. Yeah, and remember to see that's for But the price changes per township, though, doesn't it? Because of different land and right. different right, so, yeah. Because right. if, if you look at like people. Union, Union has <laughs> has a. Uh, because at first we we're thinking of putting everything buried underground yeah. at that time. Well, that introduced all the rock and everything mm -hmm. else and uh, a little topsoil there is in some spots. So that's what was causing part of that to price to go up quite a bit. Right. So, but um, with Bright Speed, it came back and says, well, we own the poles. Mm -hmm. We have clearance on all these poles ourselves already. So we're just going to lash our stuff up to it. And AT&T has been doing that too. Because they we even mentioned too at one time taking and running their, their fiber optic up to a tower and being able to, you know, broadband off the tower also. Not, so they're not going to be any wireless connections. Okay, so no, there's no wireless. Okay. That, that was... Um, or was that it was Bertrand. Oh, well, Bertrand. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> Bug Tussle? Bug Yes. yes. Okay. And that's where Sebastian was having a lot of problems because you cannot serve let in drive. Would buy a tower because yeah. that road snakes through the woods. Mm -hmm. So guess what? You can't have a line of sight through trees. Right. So right. that's the problem that they're looking yeah. at. Well, then they're telling people, oh, well, you got to put up a big tower in your backyard. You know what towers in your backyard? They're getting rid of their antennas and taking cable at that time. So all the hundred towers are gone. So they don't have no antennas in right. the backyard or big towers. So you can get above the trees. So it brings us back to the question about our tower. What's going to happen with that? You know what I'm saying? 
That's a separate lease agreement that we have. Right. But I mean, is it, I, doesn't it Bertram, uh, Bertram release that from us or is that? Bertram. Yeah, Bertram. Bertram. Yeah. Okay. All right. They lease that from us. Right. But, but if, you know, they're, that's their mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a separate, completely separate. Yeah, what they, what they can be used in some of the towers for microwaving it between the yeah. towers and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So then, so you got the tower on Brussels Hill hitting the one in Porsche. Sure. That's all it would be, or hitting the one up here by Renner's mm -hmm. right. and everything. So that's all That's all they're probably using them towers for is microwave and then going back down to fiber. Yeah, and they drop down all the fiber that's in the ground. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's just basically technology that's been right. for years now. So. Oh, yeah. I yeah. sent out that email for requesting the letter of support that this is a template for if you want to send a letter well i, th I think we need to right they want it from the town board right or what yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah so we can just fill it in or whatever and then just sign it yeah i, I would think even you would be able to sign that just just use the same okay, yeah same yeah same wording. Yeah, this is There's also part of what's going on. This is another sample one. This is a you know <clears throat> someone had written it, but that's a longer. Oh, longer this letter. is just in support of right, right. And they're requesting. Yeah, they said they needed X amount of letters of support. This one right. has already from been the, spelled out. Yeah, a majority of our town boards to to sign that and sign that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this one. Was somebody that was somebody else's, Carl, yeah, yeah, Carl Water Street, right, right, right. That's what his letter was, and I just want to take a, a sample of whatever. I didn't know if each person had to, on you know, on the board or just. I I think just the, the, the fact board, that we passed the, the board, right? just the board itself. One mm -hmm. letter, but board once we board, once we passed that other ordinance, it should be okay. Huh? I think so. I okay. don't think I need another letter. Like this. That that's to the Public Service Commission in support of Gardner's application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that that's what they needed at that they, time. That's okay. What so okay. So this needs, isn't really. Or I'm I'm sorry myself. I'm sorry. So this isn't really right needed. needed. Right speed yeah, needs stars. this letter. Right. Okay. To support now, what they're doing. They, do, they need it now, or they're past that. No. no they, they, for they, Gardner, they need it now. They so need that, it so that they can try and get that grant money yet by November 7th. But that is, I guess, what everybody's trying to ask for. That is not a third thing we need. We need two things. We needed the resolution and we needed the town's right. letter. That's what we need to know. Done. Um, that letter does not have to go out until next year when they apply for all that B grant money. So I, okay. that's what I believe. So, okay. Well, if something's different. Maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe we talk about this, right? And is the board is okay that this is on record that if something would have to be done, we can approve that ahead of time here, right? So if that's sure. the case, that all of a sudden, hey, mm -hmm. we do need that letter, mm -hmm. that Ruth would be able to just change the yeah, I think wording and sign it. Did John it Cook it. say if he had a question about that, do they need that letter now? Maybe John Cook would be able to answer yeah, the question. So just, yeah, right, like but my point said, is, is we would okay it now. Okay. That way, oh, yeah. Ruth has the authority to go okay. ahead and take but, care of yes. it, right? So if it comes up, agreement with that? Yeah. I'm I'm in agreement with that. Do we need to vote on that in any way, shape, or form? Or I think we've already. We kind of did that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just so if check that comes John up, then let me know. Yeah. But but ask John Cook or send him back a note saying, do we need to do this as a town? We're in favor. We're in support of it. Uh, and if he says, yeah, the letter would be of help. Okay. It says, because in one of those things, it says there's no more than 20 of those letters right. are, are allowed for their That I needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in Carl Water Street's letter from County Gardner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I I would say, yeah, we, we, we could do that. Right, but this yeah. way here, if she has to, she can you do can. it instead of waiting yeah. for another case. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Go ahead. All right, we're going to move on to item number 12. Your favorite subject, the hey, 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 go and website. We are going to be migrating our email services based on our decision last month to go with the uh, Google Workspace uh, air, uh, offering with the added features. And that'll also move our uh, archives and our email. I've been working with uh, Tom Webb 
and they now have access to our uh, our all of the five uh, email addresses on Rackspace. They have the access to get at the structure and then so they came back to me with a, a note here you've uh, you have archive enabled so we will export your archive import it to the new archive solution your email history emails and your inboxes other folder, folders will be transferred as well and although everything usually transfers completely sometimes not all the emails are moved over so we need to repeat the process if you have any questions blah 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 and uh, the scheduled migration date is May or November 13th. Uh, and that's the Monday prior to Thanksgiving. Um, I will be in contact with each one of you. Don't pay attention to the uh, messages that you get from Rackspace. Yeah. Right. I just leave them. There, there's many and mm -hmm. they're a problem. Mm -hmm. I will be personally calling you okay. outside of a meeting to say, hey, this is what we have to do. This is what we're going to have happen. And at some point, you're going to have to stop using email. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Good. All right. It will move. Awesome. Uh, roads and road work. Um, so the brush cutting and taking place, uh, and the signs will be going up after the brush cutting is done. He is thinking by the end of the month, those two items would be taken care of and, and complete. So the sign on old elm, old elm mm -hmm. is still in the weeds or in the field or okay. the, I think it's a slow children sign or something like that. It's between our place and the Anapi. Oh, past your place there. Mm -hmm. They still have slow children over there. Huh? I thought we got grandchildren over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that sign ever got put up. but <laughs> You know, what I've noticed is it's really not the children that are slow. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the grandparents <laughs> that are trying to catch up. <laughs> I asked that question about road inspection. Are we going? To, we did not do one. No, we did not in do the one. Fall. Did and you typically do one in the fall? Yes. Spring and fall, yeah. And we did that in the fall so we could gauge conditions as they are and then see where they go over winter, depending on the winter. And then that, that way you can make a a better plan on how you're going to do mm -hmm. your road work for the next mm -hmm. year. There was another sign down to God. What did it go to see that was on? So I, I don't know. We've, we've traditionally we've done that in the fall of the year mm -hmm. and in the spring. Year. I think then you do it so that the chairman could do the Whistler report, you know. And well, I did the Whistler report already. Oh, it did. did. It okay. Based so, off of our spring, our spring I see. Okay. inspection. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's done. That's, that's done because it's due first in December, is it? Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. But right. we've also then we've done it because there are things that we notice every mm -hmm, every mm -hmm, time. Sure. Yeah. And there's that dip in the road. Mm -hmm. Did you, yep. you talk to Thad yeah. about that? Thad and I both stopped out there and, and looked at this thing. He was uh, he didn't get a number back to me yet on oh, because okay. it's like, well, the only way you're gonna fix that with those animals in there is you're gonna have to cut a section out and dig. Mm -hmm. But I said, Well, is there another way of at least seeing? Can we just patch this? So his suggestion was, he's like, I'll get your number. Because if we dig next in a row right now to be able to see in, how far did they burrow in? How bad is it? Because if it's burrowed in, in, we got to cut the section out and re dig it out and refill it in because yeah, you it'll just move a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your base is gone. Yeah, is oh, the problem. Well, it's why the only reason I say it is because I still see cracking. <clears throat> And it's extending. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a problem. Mm -hmm. So he didn't get a number on that one yet at this oh, point okay. in time. Um, but uh, the other road is, is complete, and it's complete, I believe, down by the farm. I went and looked at all that. Um, oh, oh, yeah. That part's all Paving done. is done. Yeah. Sunday and this we'll shoulder, get... shoulder's done, too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully we'll get this road. Yeah, when are they doing that? Tomorrow. I think after S. Tomorrow. The paver's up on the corner. Is it? Oh, is it? Yeah. That would be oh, awesome. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm wondering nice. why they left it that long to be honest. I know. I was in the security. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to ask the question. I mean, that's a pretty big bump. But yeah. Down yeah, there. Right? Yeah. I mean, well, it's on both sides. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. The signage is terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just awful. It's Definitely. Like at dusk. Yeah. Do you have do you slow way down at the one by Stone Road here? I almost yeah. got rear-ended this morning because oh. the person behind me wasn't not paying attention. It's like, yeah, as I just got over that and Dawson and they're right over the top of it. And I'm like, mm. all right, <laughs> that's a hard thing. You know, it so is. It's a hard yeah. one. Yeah. So as far can can we talk at some point in time and just set up a you know based off of a road inspection? Meaning we're having our meeting here. We we do a road inspection, right? Certainly. But I'm just saying. I mean, we can pick a date between the three of us and sure. call or go through route, and then we don't do. We don't need to do anything other than you, see, you have to. It has to be posted. Yeah, it has to be posted. Oh, right. right. So if there's something we need to do, we'd rather do it now, and then mm -hmm. we'll just okay. All right. All right, payment of bills. I looked at them. You looked at them? I didn't know Jason. Did Jason look at them? I did. I'll take them. I think Kevin needs to sign most of them. I think you all those checks. Oh, yeah. they're all signed. I was sure. Did I not sign them? Yeah. Oh. Kevin's not oh, didn't sign it. There's only two of them that are signed for me. Oh, oh. no. I'm signed. Oh. I thought I signed them. Maybe I looked at them all and never signed them. Oh, yeah. Them. yeah. <laughs> You've had the phone. I think one, and then I thought, well, they're all that signed. So, oh, no, maybe sign them Sorry. That's all right. Okay. I did. I looked at every single one, and I thought, well, and then you handed oh, the folder yeah. over, and yeah. I, I took oh, the folder, and I went okay. through them, and <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, maybe you want to sign them back. Yeah. Yeah. Just hand them off to Kevin. You can sign off them as yeah. you signed them. <laughs> Verify they signed them. Yeah. <laughs> And while you are doing that, um, we so the the blue paper that I gave you, mm -hmm. that's all the um, payments. payment. All, that's all the tax parcel stuff. Mm -hmm. I have everything that came out. I am four cents short <laughs> because I gave the sanitary district four cents too much. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Well, that's going to trigger an audit. Well, I read more too. I think inter internal audit should happen first. Yeah. Do you have an escrow account for that? <laughs> yeah, so that's that's where my four cents came from. <laughs> I don't know. I can't read. No, no. You can't read writings or something. I don't know. Can I learn? Four must look like a zero must look like a four. <laughs> But everything else came out, um, and the dog license is fine. She said so. The check is right that you wrote. Um, yeah. I thought you reminded me of that because I was <laughs> yeah. only on there once, and I never thought of that. Um, is there anything else in the oh, in the newsletter, everybody got the newsletter, and they looked at it, and I left a message for Rich, but he hasn't gotten oh, back to me, so. They can read tomorrow or something. He'll get back to me. I don't think you sent it to me, did you? Yeah. Yeah, you're the one who said that I should call Rich. Oh, that. yeah, yeah. But oh, I thought you had the new one. No, okay. this is okay. just the one that we need to make sure okay. that sure. we don't have to mm -hmm. add anything. But we do have to add something about trees or the stumps. Like if they cut trees yeah. in the ditches. Yeah. And then I got to give you a part, right? You want yeah. A part. But uh, do you want to just add that in your part, maybe? Or do you want that yeah. separately? What do you think? I don't know. I can. I, I'll look at it and wrap okay. my brain around it a little bit, and I can just yeah. send something back to you. Because you have room if you have, you know. Um, yeah, I got. Yeah. yeah, Because I'm right. on two pages now already, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this has to stay on there. Mm -hmm. I would think so. Um, yeah. So I mean, this mm -hmm. yeah, tourism. Too. They usually send something new every year, though. I didn't see nothing. No, no. That's just something. Burning permits. Just let me know what you put in there because I gotta get that in by November first. November first. He wants them. 
Yeah, Which, I'll, I'll get into it. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. yeah, good. So I'll need, an, I'll need a motion oh. for, for uh, payment of bills. <laughs> I make a motion to pay the bills. Oh, second. second. All right, I have a motion to pay the bills as we read them. And a second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, it'll carry. Announcements. Uh, the Wisconsin Town Association Convention is October 22nd through 24th in the Dells. Okay. I, yeah, I got a letter. Oh, they gave you a letter. I yes, I, get, I got one too. I'm going to. I didn't get one. Now, you also gave me this reservation. That's number, for, yes. Uh -huh. And that's for the room. Right. At the Kalahari. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you actually pay for the room or does that just to that went down? It? Yeah, that was, we had to pay $90 for the one night. And then, so then the second night, they'll be, they'll have to pay I'll it. Pay and then I'll, it. yeah. And okay. then reimburse. Because I know in the past, that's yeah, a, we used to always be there. But it's a nightmare of people. I know, I know. You get in there and you got 300 people yeah, in front of you yeah, online. I know. And That's I was crazy. hoping I didn't have to get there to meet you. So do you put that on the town credit card or do you pay it out? And then well, I it? did. Well, I was there that time with Roy and, and Larry that time. And we put on the credit card. But, but um, if you put one night on that credit it's card. It's already one already night paid, paid for. Yeah, one night one paid night. for. Uh -huh. so, when you go to check in. You they paid. have one night paid for them. We have to, and that's why I, what yeah, I wanted yeah. to know. Do yeah. I then pay? Use for your the, credit card and pay okay. it and then get and then reimbursed. Down yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Or oh, Kevin can use his. You could use your town yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the town one for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put it on a credit card. For I wasn't going to go, and then I got talked into going, and I thought, well, there's there's one session that's for a uh, election, and that's where you know that's it's a three hour very, session. That's yeah. very important. And that's on Tuesday, so right. yeah. So I'll be there Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. okay. Good. Uh, uh, the WTA Door County Unit Meeting that's going to be held here. We wanted to go over a list of agendas. We gave her a right. couple of things today. Yes, but did you know, you did you? I should send that email. Did you? Did you oh, I did send that right here. They hated what we picked. No, but um, no, <laughs> they had three items there. They thought it was a good idea, but the way it sounds, we have to contact the people now. Oh, it says I'm copying Elizabeth, but you can choose whichever you prefer. Um, legislative update would probably require someone from Wisconsin Towns Association making the trip to Door County for the meeting, unless Joel Kitchen might want to be want to address that. So I'm not, I would think he would be around. I'm not sure. And then about the right of way, um, she said one of the legal counsels, if there are three, might want to visit that. So I'm not sure if anybody's going to be there. Maybe it's best if I just call Linda and ask her what to do, you know, if she wants to contact them. And then as far as the district attorney's office, it said you could contact District Attorney Colleen Nordeen, or I think she has an assistant that one of them could come to the meeting. So I don't know if that's what you want me to take care of it. Or yeah. see, Roy was always the chairman, so that he would always pick something. I think. Well, you might you might ask uh, Colleen Nordeen or or, or uh, Linda. Linda, ask Linda. Because if Joel Kitchens is there, I'm sure he could answer all those legislative questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever. He would be there. Yeah, he, He'd beat her on the board. Oh, well, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, he, he could be asked questions. Or if you want one of the legal counsel, there would be three. They could come, you know, from the Wisconsin Towns Association. Well, it might be a case of whoever is able to come type thing. Right, right. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I can't come. Right. Okay, well, then plan B would be this one. or Maybe, maybe I should just ask Linda, see, you know, how, how they handle yeah, this. See this how She'll tell you how to go about month. that, I think. And to contact Colleen or Dean regarding, you know. Yeah, that's fine. That part about local ordinances. I'll have to contact her soon because this is coming yeah. up. Yeah, I would just say this. Yeah, you got to look at her schedule. Yeah, and we'll have to, maybe I'll, 
find the menu with you or something because we're gonna have to get the menu whatever we're going to serve we have to get the food what have they done what have they done in the past uh like lately they've times. been having sandwiches yeah or, uh, or, or, like, or like small buns yeah club sandwiches club sandwich yeah okay yeah and then potato chips and dip and then they have a veggie tray and okay. then cookies or something like that but you got a cow you ate running around over there <laughs> 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 yeah. Kick for the last time, buddy. <laughs> so that's going to be Thanksgiving week. Yes, uh -huh. and then our meeting is right after that too. And I, and yeah, that was my question. November sixteenth, and then our meeting is the twentieth. Yeah, our meeting is the 20th, yeah. so, so we've been, we're yeah. not going to have a, anything. It'll be after that. Mm -hmm. That so we're going to do some planning on it now. You mentioned it. Yeah. Email that. <laughs> yeah. And this other gas, also we... We will be hopefully having a representative from Tony Evers giving us an update, listening in and answering questions. She had contacted me this spring, but we could not make the could not make the last meeting. So, and then I like contacting Colleen Nordine. I think that would be an interesting topic to cover. Hopefully, someone could come and speak on that. So. But whether they have someone coming already, I don't know. Well, you might check with them and see which. I think so. What yeah. time yeah. are those meetings? Really, six 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 o'clock. Yeah, six in. Then they usually they eat first. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have it on for play banks. <laughs> <laughs> that was last Oops. time. <laughs> yeah, we want to find some menu. And they'll tell us how many people are coming because they usually take a they do like poll did, somebody did subs at one time, didn't they, or something? Yeah, you just yeah. gotta get the mailing out mm -hmm. too. They used to have Scott Construction for a while was sponsoring oh, that and they would get the, the, okay. the bags from I don't know, like yeah, whatever it is. Jimmy John's or something. Yeah, yeah, or Pexos or somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you'll you'll look or, or give her a call and find I'll out. I'll have to call, yeah. And if I have questions, I can get back to you on that. All right, thank you. If I need help. <laughs> All right, moving on. Item number 16. All other matters um, as authorized by law. Nothing I know of. Okay. None at this point. Item number 17. Um, discussion and items intended for future meeting. Anything we want to throw on there at this point in time? I mean, I don't think other than what the agenda usually is, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Next town board meeting will be held Monday, November 20th, 2023, at 6 30 p.m. Um, at the town hall. Mm -hmm. Item 19, an adjournment, and then we will work on the budget. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All right, I have a motion for an adjournment and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, the meeting is adjourned.